In the United States, electric vehicle EV, sales have achieved a significant milestone, with over 313,000 EVs sold in the third quarter, marking a nearly 50% increase compared to the previous year. The EV market share has reached 7.9%, its highest level ever. However, the surge in EV sales may not be sufficient to meet the expectations of automakers heavily investing in the EV transformation. Ford's CEO, Jim Farley, emphasized the necessity of cost competitiveness in the EV market. While Ford has a positive outlook on its upcoming Gen 2 and Gen 3 EVs, the company reported that US EV buyers were reluctant to pay premiums over gas or hybrid vehicles, resulting in a significant compression of EV prices and profitability. As a result, Ford temporarily paused $12 billion in EV project investments. GM, too, acknowledges the evolving dynamics in the EV market. CEO Mary Barra mentioned that GM is adjusting its EV production plans to safeguard pricing, accommodate slower near-term demand growth, and implement cost-efficient engineering improvements. GM's decision to postpone the expansion of its EV truck volumes was primarily due to changing EV demand. Even Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, expressed concerns about the global economic conditions caused by rising interest rates, leading the company to delay construction of its upcoming Gigafactory in Mexico. Musk stressed the importance of cost reduction to make EVs more affordable. Jessica Caldwell, head of insights at automotive research firm Edmunds, shared similar sentiments highlighting that the current high interest rate environment discourages consumers from exploring emerging auto technology, while the cost of EVs places them beyond the reach of many buyers. J.D. Power's research reveals the pricing disparities between EVs and internal combustion engine ICE, vehicles, particularly in the compact SUV segment. Mass-market compact EV SUVs are priced at around $52,000, compared to approximately $34,000 for equivalent ICE SUVs. Despite these pricing concerns, J.D. Power believes that the critical mass for EVs has already been achieved. The firm projects retail EV sales to reach 3 million by the end of this year and 4 million by the end of Q3 2024. One positive development in this regard is the $7,500 EV tax credit, which can now be used immediately at the point of sale for eligible vehicles. However, addressing the price gap between EVs and gasoline-powered vehicles, along with the challenges of range anxiety and charging infrastructure, is crucial to further EV adoption. Infrastructure expansion to accommodate the growing acceptance of EVs is a significant aspect to be addressed. From a financial perspective, maintaining cash reserves and deploying them when economic conditions stabilize is seen as a prudent strategy for automakers like GM, Ford, and Tesla. The White House's goal of achieving 50% EV sales by 2030 may face challenges, and the transition to mass EV adoption could experience periods of slow progress. While the shift towards EVs is inevitable, the path to widespread adoption may have its share of hurdles.